The Indian Air Force has made a proposal to the central government to buy 10 Tapas male class UAVs, out of which six drones would be for the Indian Air Force, while the remaining four would be for the Indian Navy. An Indian Air Force contingent has arrived in Egypt to take part in the fourth edition of OPEX joint exercise with the Egyptian Air Force from 21st June to 26th June. Experts have said that India's nuclear stockpile has increased mainly due to the MIRF capable Agni 5 Mark II missile and the expansion of the nuclear ballistic missile submarine fleet. Boeing has unveiled its innovative revolver launcher system for C 17 aircraft that will allow rapid launch of 12 Boeing X 51A Wave Rider hypersonic cruise missiles. Keltron has secured a significant order worth 97 crore rupees from the Indian Navy for the manufacturing of various critical defense electronics equipment for the Navy's underwater operations. French firm Dassault Systems has announced its ambitious plan to generate $1 billion in revenue from the Indian market by 2027. Pictures of the new Chinese lightweight battle tank has emerged on social media, that has recently started trials. Japan has sanctioned a Bangalore-based technology firm for its alleged support to Russia's war efforts, a development that could cast a shadow over the strategic partnership between India and Japan. After the successful development of the land-based long-range land attack cruise missile, the aeronautical development establishment has started development of a ship-launched version of the LRLACM, and it will start testing within the next 12 months. The aeronautical development establishment is also developing a potent air-launched variant of the 1000 km range LRLACM, that will provide India with a valuable weapon for both land and sea attack missions. Latest satellite images have revealed a new massive construction facility near the Cochin shipyard, that is dedicated for building the next generation S-5 class 13,000 ton nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines. The facility boasts the capacity for simultaneous production of three S-5 class SSPNs, before they are moved to an outer dry dock area for final assembly. Mazagin Dock Ship Builders is in advance talks to build three additional Calvary class submarines for the Navy under a 35,000 crore rupees deal. Officials have said that the three submarines will be larger than their predecessor and will be packed with advanced electronics and propulsion that will give them better strength and longer endurance. Latest reports indicate that the first Project 17 Alpha Stealth Frigate has completed 70% physical progress, while the second and third ships are at 60% and 47% completion. The project anticipates delivery of the first ship by mid-2025, second ship by early 2026, and the third ship by August 2026. An Indian Navy team will carry out trials of the Spanish next-generation AIP system at Navancia's land-based facility, since no S-80 Plus submarine is currently equipped with the AIP system. Navancia had successfully completed land-based trials of the system in 2023 simulating demanding real-world conditions, and the third S-80 class submarine of the Spanish Navy will be the first to be equipped with the AIP system in 2025. Today's top 3 comments.